What's up guys? Thanks for clicking. Uh, in this video, I'm just going to talk to you a bit about the Maverick Phantom here. Um, as we've seen, it's a great beginner car. Um, the only problem I find with a Maverick, and I think why a lot of people don't, perhaps don't buy it, is because once you've got your car, you've driven your car, you've been out in your car, you've had fun with your car, the next thing you want to do is upgrade your car. Um, and unfortunately, HPI don't seem to make any upgrades for the, uh, for the Maverick Phantom XT which is a little bit of a downer when you're buying it, you think, oh, I'm gonna to have to keep it the same. But if only they made some upgrades, like aluminium arms or, <gasps> what's this? So, I have found some aluminium arms that will fit the Maverick Phantom. They're not made for a Maverick Phantom, um, but basically, I'll let you a little secret. I don't think Maverick designed this car. I was searching through the internet the other day and uh, I found a, a, a car made by another manufacturer that looked a lot like this. Uh, one, of the, one of the Chinese brands looks a lot like this car. Um, I don't want to say the name and perhaps get myself in trouble with HPI, but I'll put a link in the description down below to where I got these arms from on eBay. Um, so feel free to have a click and have a look. Um, they do suspension arms, top, bottom, front, rear, hubs, steering couplings uh, and they actually do adjustable steering arms as well which I'm definitely going to get because that's a bugbear of mine not being able to adjust the steering but do the arms fit I hear you ask well I'm pleased to say yes they do they fit with no modifications and nothing else you just fit them on as if they were the same as the original ones so come in a bit closer We'll fit this arm, I'll show you how easy it is, and uh, we'll take it from there. Okay guys, right, here we are, a bit closer in. Let's start off by showing you these suspension arms and the original suspension arms. As you can see, they're the same. The same arm. Uh, another good thing is when you buy replacement suspension arms of these, they come like this. And there's no little ball in there. So you have to press this ball out. Um, and I don't know if anyone's tried to do it yet, but it feels like this arm is gonna break. And, and I was very close to breaking it. It's very hard to do as well. It's a hard thing to get out and a hard thing to get in. Whereas the aluminium ones come with it already attached and screwed in in a nice little joint. The camera focus on that um it's a win-win really i mean these cost me off of ebay i think i paid 16 pounds delivered um the standard ones if you remember from the board are seven pound 50 a pair obviously it's a pair for a pair for 17 pounds so you pay an extra tenner but for aluminium bits and they feel they're quite light but they feel quite 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 good for aluminium parts um i think it's quite good they come with threaded bottom arms that your original screws go into they really are a direct fit, very easy to do. Um, all you're gonna need for this job is a spanner to take the wheel off and a screwdriver to undo the screws. They are the easiest car to work on and uh, that makes it extra, extra awesome being able to upgrade them. So, first of all, we will take the wheel off. Obviously it'll be easier for you to do this guys because you won't be trying to do it in front of a camera. If you want a car to learn how to uh, fix an upgrade, I can't say much better than this, to be fair. It's a very easy car to work on. Right, wheel off. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna undo this screw here, which again, oh, I always have problems getting it in the screen, there we are. Under that screw there, and then this here is a pin that slides all the way through these bottom arms. So all you've got to do is pull it up, like so, and as you pull it out, you may or may not be able to see it coming out of the arms. Once we get to there, both the arms fall out. Okay. 
Next, we're going to undo the screw on the bottom of the shock absorber. Okay, it's a bit tight with that little screwdriver. It's okay. Here's an electric screwdriver we prepared earlier. Undo that screw there. Move the shock absorber out of the way. And then you've got one screw in the bottom of the hub there. We'll try with the little screwdriver. Yes, no problem. Be careful to hold, make sure you hold this hub guys when you do this because otherwise your drive shaft falls out. Which is never great shakes, but you have to bend over and pick it up. So, right, take that out of there like that. We get our new arm. It's probably easier guys to put the new arms in before you reconnect all this up because it makes it easier to mess around with the pin. So, this is going to be tricky guys. This is going to be tricky with a camera. This is the only tricky part about this job. It's holding all the drive shafts and everything in whilst you get these in. So you put your arms in, get your pin, pin slides in those two holes. Let's see if we can flick it over. Move the camera a bit. And then just move them around. Until, oh, missed one. This is a lot easier to do when you're not trying to. Like that, hold both bits. Move the arms around until the pin lines up. Like so. Top pass in now. We're just going to move the arms around till they line up and push the pin in. Making sure, you have to make sure it lines up, <clears throat> it lines up in that back hole. See, I've missed it there. So we'll put it back out again. <laughs> There we go, and in she goes. Then screw back in the top there. It just holds the pin back in. Like so, dry shaft back in, just lines up. Lines up with the little cups in there, like that. Find the other screw. She's there. And 
there we have it guys. Aluminium suspension arms. Ooh, they do. These arms, these arms, couplings, I think they even do CVDs. Uh, they do shock mounts. They do rear lower arms, rear top arms. These top arms are a bit flexy and weird. Um, and they, more importantly, they do adjustable steering rods. So I can finally get that and adjust the wheels so they don't sit like that. Because this one sits out. There's, there's no way to adjust it. But all in all, oh, it looks cool, guys. It looks cool. Look at that. Yes. That's it for that one guys, uh, so, sorry for my filming skills, not the greatest, but they look nice, don't they, eh? the red and the black, the red and the black just sets it off, they do different colours as well, you can get gold, blue, silver and red, um, I've only managed to find them on eBay, as I say, there's a link in the description down below to where I got them from, and once you get there and you've got the model name, you can search away, and now guys, eBay, you can get them, let the tuning begin, uh, thanks for watching, if you enjoyed this video, Hit the bell, give me a like, and please subscribe to the channel for more inside. And I'll see you in the next one.